So if you're a fan of Ramit Sethi and his conscious spending plan, but never got around to actually setting up the process, I'm going to show you exactly how to split your paycheck to make sure that you never go broke. And we're going to do all of it on autopilot so you never have to manually move your money again. If you ever read I Will Teach You To Be Rich by Ramit Sethi, you probably saw this exact chart showing you how to split up your paychecks. But when it comes time to actually doing it, that's where most people get stuck. So today I'm going to show you how we took that exact framework and built a fully automated sequence map to make it happen step by step. Hey, I'm Nick and I've spent the last 15 years in personal finance and fintech and we built Sequence so that people like you could stop budgeting manually and start running your money like a system. I'm personally a huge fan of Ramit and all his work. I have all of his books, dog-eared, highlighted, big fan of his most recent one, Money for Couples, as well as I even bought one of his programs almost a decade ago, the $400,000 funnel. So all we'd have to say is that I'm a big fan of Ramit in the work that he does. But even though that I love the conscious spending plan, manually moving money around each month just wasn't going to happen because I wasn't going to remember to do it. So today I'm walking you through exactly how I built a fully automated version of the conscious spending plan and how you can copy it for yourself. So as you can see here, we've got Ramit's process for how to split up your paycheck. He's got his salary coming in. Obviously he wants somebody to have a 401k or some type of retirement savings that's going pre-tax out of your salary. Got money going to the checking account from there. He's splitting it to the savings for a couple different goals as well as a Roth IRA. And then he's a big fan of using credit cards for your regular bills that you can spend on as well as your guilt-free spending, which we're obviously big fans of. And then miscellaneous bills because not every single bill can be paid via a credit card. So the checking account is obviously paying off the credit card as well as the remainder of the miscellaneous bills. So here's exactly how I set that up inside of Sequence. So to get started, we set up a income source. That's just simply a checking account with our partner bank, Thread Bank, fully FDIC insured and based out of Nashville. And to do so, we just need to simply click the plus button down here and then income source. This is where all of the income is going to go. So all the paychecks moving forward will be going into this account because this is how we can set up our automatic transfers and all of our smart rules to send the money to the different accounts that we want. Now, once we have that account set up, I'm going to simply add a couple new accounts because chances are most people don't have an individual account for their emergency fund, their down payment, their future wedding, their vacation fund, right? Most people tend to commingle those into a single account, and that's hard for us to mentally allocate what money is for which goal. So we're big fans here of creating individual accounts for each of those goals because we can tie goals to those goals, how much money we actually want to save towards them, how much we want them to grow to. So individually, we can create with two clicks accounts for each of those different goals that we have. We simply click the plus button, add a pod, label it with whatever goal we have. In this case, wedding might be one of them create pod. And just like that, we have an account set up. And again, we can spend directly out of this account. It's got a real routing number, a real account number. It is an account in your name. So according to Ramit's setup, we obviously have the wedding account. We have the down payment on a house account. We have the vacation fund. And I also added the emergency fund because he's such a big advocate of that. As am I, you absolutely need an emergency fund. Now, we also synced our external IRA so that we had some money to set aside for that as well. And we connected our existing checking account at our external bank. This is where the money would go in order to not only pay off our credit card bill, but for things like rent, mortgage, car payments that can't be put on a credit card. So now I wanted to walk you through the actual rule setup so you can understand how this money will automatically flow, how we don't have to manually set up any of these transfers moving forward. All we need to do is simply click and drag, and we can trigger these rules anytime money hits this account. So every single paycheck, it can instantly transfer the money or we can trigger it by a date. Maybe you get paid throughout the course of the month in varying amounts and you want to just trigger this every week or every two weeks or every month, you can set it up that way. For each of these rules, assuming that you're getting paid on a consistent basis, like a bi-weekly paycheck, I just set this up to instantly transfer as soon as that paycheck hits. So let's click into this rule and I can show you exactly how to set it up following the conscious spending plan process. So inside this rule, we have the trigger set to as soon as funds are received in our salary account. So in this case, we're looking at somebody who's making after tax and after their 401k contribution, $10,000. That's how much is hitting their account every single paycheck. And I even added in, I'll go into the conditions piece because this is a little bit more advanced, but I can set up conditions for these rules. So I will come back at the condition piece just so you can see this first set of rules. What we have here is saying that we are going to transfer a percent of the incoming funds, 10% is going to the emergency fund, 2% to the wedding, 2% to the down 
payment and 1% to the vacation fund. The exact same setup that he has right here, except you'll note that I added the emergency fund because it is such a huge piece. He talks about it in the book, it just isn't on this map itself. And I even got the page dog-eared, so I can show you. I even have the page dog-eared so that I could find it. So big fan of having an emergency fund, just doesn't have it right here on the paycheck map itself. But, so I added that account. And so we are going to be sending 10%, as we described before, to the emergency fund, two to the wedding, two to the down payment, one to the vacation fund, and everything else is going to the checking account. Because again, out of that account, we're going to be paying the credit card bill for our regular bills like Netflix, the gym, and your guilt-free spending so that you can get the credit card points. And then everything else that needs to be paid out of an actual checking account will come out of the checking account. So... That rule is the first rule, and you might see another rule down here, but what I want to show you is this condition I set up. So we can actually add conditions. So in this case, I said, if the balance of the emergency fund is less than $10,000, so let's say we want to get our emergency fund to $10,000, you might even say it's $30,000 that you want. No problem, we just simply click and edit it. If it's less than $30,000, well, what you'll notice, we're going to put 10% into the emergency fund, the wedding fund, the down payment, the vacation, everything else going to our checking account. But if it's more than our goal, in this case now $30,000, what it will do is it will transfer 5% to the emergency fund, so a little bit less, 2% to the wedding, 2% to the down payment, 1% to vacation, and 5% to our IRA. Because in the book, for me, talks about how he wants you to make sure you get your emergency fund set up to your desired level before you start contributing to your retirement savings. Now, again, you can decide however much you want in that emergency fund before you start saving for the future. I just wanted to call it out because he does talk about it in the book and in a lot of his content. Content. So in this case, if you wanted to just start at $10,000, so that's in this case one month's worth of salary, no problem. We'll start saving 10% to the emergency fund, and as soon as we pass the $10,000 threshold, what will happen is this set of rules will come into place, and that's 5% to the emergency fund, so we're going to continue to grow it, but we're also using that extra 5% to send to our IRA, and then everything else is going to the checking account. Click save, and just like that, the rule is done. Every single time money hits this account right here, every single time a paycheck is deposited, all of that money is going to move automatically for you into the correct account. Now, the last thing you'll see here is I connected the external credit card where all the regular bills, subscriptions, and guilt-free spending are taking place. And I just simply created a rule from the checking account so that on the fifth of the month, it will pay off the entire current balance. Now, you don't even necessarily need to do this. You might already be paying your credit card from your checking account, so this wouldn't need to take place. What you can do is if you do happen to be in credit card debt and you're trying to pay it down quicker, you can actually add your credit card and make another payment with any leftover money that's in that account at the end of the month. So maybe you have some extra money because you stayed within your budget and so you have an extra $500 or $1,000. What we can do is we can set up a rule to use that extra money to pay down the credit card debt that you're trying to eliminate or maybe the student loans to help you snowball that debt and make an extra payment every single single month. But I just wanted to show you how you can literally in minutes set up your entire split paycheck to fulfill a conscious spending plan via Remit's process. So now instead of doing all of the mental math or manually logging all of your expenses and moving money around, you've got a fully automated system. You've got real-time visibility into what's safe to spend. You've got guaranteed savings and investments every single month that are getting contributed to those accounts. You've got zero stress at build time. And this is exactly what Remique wants you to do. And now it actually happens on autopilot. So if you want to use this exact map, we've made a free download with a full setup and rule template. Just click the link below and we'll send it to you. And you can get started with Sequence today. You can finally run your money the way that Ramit wants you to build your conscious spending plan.